In this tutorial, I'll show you how, uh, some of the tricks that I use for um, modeling objects in the scene using grouping and joining and things like that. That, that way I can create a fleet of vehicles with different colors and kind of keep control of them easily because it kind of gets out of hand pretty quickly. So I have, uh, let's just take a look at this. We'll, we'll take a look at this vehicle right here. Now notice the first thing is when I select it, it's highlighted in green like this. A little line. Let's change this background color real quick so you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, okay. All right, so there's the, well, that didn't really help that much, but so you can see the green outline like that, and it's part of a group. And when uh, the, you can get to the group menu here under object like this, but notice here, I actually want to do something else. I want to, I want to get the objects associated with that group and the easiest way is to press shift and G on the keyboard and then you select group like this and I come down here and I click group like that and actually in this case I actually have both of these objects in the same group well this will be a good part of the lesson in fact we're going to do one more thing hang on we're going to cut down this color till it's somewhat more manageable alright like that alright so um, I really just want to work on one car at a time and I don't want this part of that group for now so what I'll do is I'll just individually select the elements associated with it which is in this case just the car body and that tire I'm right shift I'm clicking I'm holding down my shift key and clicking like that and then so now they're all yep they're all part of that group and then if you go to the object menu to uh, object group and I'm going to remove from the group just like that control alt G alright so this is now it's gone back to an orange color and then I'm going to immediately add it back to the group with control G or just group with this create new group and suddenly now this is basically I selected them and I regrouped them into their own uh, entity like that so for instance if I was to click this tire and press shift G then I can grab everything associated with the group and then only these part these pieces are part of the group and the, and that is not if I press shift G and get group then only those are part of that group now because I removed these from here so now they're separate in separate groups this is really uh, useful I'll tell you what's not useful is this background colors just wiping me out <laughs> yeah okay let's try that All right, that's a little bit better alright so then what I want to build a car first thing I need to do is I need to separate out things like the lights so I'll come over here and with just the car body itself selected I'll go into edit mode and I'll go into face select which I am and I'll right click this and I'll just press P and I'll separate it by selection so he's not part of that object anymore and I'll just go around and do that to all these things that I want over here individually right click separate them all out Oops, this one. There's a headlight there. Yep, separate that out. And there's a headlight there, and I'll separate that out as well. All right. So now they're individual objects. So when I leave edit mode, now you can see I can grab each one separately as their own separate object. Let's see. I must have missed one. No? or I didn't separate those out. I get that one, that one. Must have forgotten to separate those out. Okay, so I have to grab the whole body itself and I continue. I'm gonna come up here, edit mode, separate that one, that one, that one. Now I leave edit mode. Now they should be individual objects. Let's see if we can see it in wireframe better. Well, you can't really see it in wireframe better, but but you can see there's that selection like that. All right, yet they're still part of the same group in this case. Well, that allows me to come over here and change just the car body and not the windows, but I'll change the windows first and I can get a material and I'll make the material some, I don't know, some bluish gray color and I'll come down here to the bottom and I'll make it transparent a little bit like that. And then I'll come over to the car body. Sometimes that thing doesn't come up car body and I'll make it I don't know 
make it this color right there. All right, so now we have a blue car in the scene. Yet everything's part of the same group. In fact, I click the window and I press Shift G and get the group. They're really all part of the same group like that. All right, so then if I want to change a color of a car, since I have everything in here in the same group, then I can just make a copy of this and say sh uh, Shift D, move it on X, move it over here. But before I actually make a change to the color, while it's still highlighted, I go back to what we were doing before. I go Object, Group, and I remove it from that group. I want to make it its own piece like that. And then I'll press Control G, which again is the same as Object, Group, create new group. So I'll control G in here and now it's part of its own group like that. See if I click that you don't see it. If I want to get the rest of it shift G and find those there so they're all part of that group or I can come over here and pick that window and shift G and get that group so those are all part of that group. So then when I come in here and click the body alone then I can click the plus button and call it say red car like this and make it a red car like that and then I have a separate car like that. So it's a really powerful way to keep control of your objects and keep them in groups because you know uh, what you don't want to do you don't want to join them together because then if you join them then you can't have your access to your individual things like this. Alright well I hope that gives you some help in uh, working with the groups because I use them a lot they're powerful they're really useful and you can uh, get a lot done that way. Alright well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.